What's up, y'all guys? We're just a few days away from October, and I mean, it is already fall season, but I'm gonna show y'all how to make a pumpkin cream cold brew coffee with Herbalife products for a fall season slash spooky season. So first, we're gonna start off with about a cup and a half of water. Add that to your blender. Now the cup and a half is used for um, our 32 ounce cups. If you're gonna be using a 20 or 24 ounce cup, you can just go ahead and use one cup of water. So I add now two scoops of our pumpkin spice formula one from Herbalife. Add that to the blender. And then next up, I'm going to add the mocha high protein flavored coffee that Herbalife has as well. And we're going to add two scoops of that as well. And the great thing about this as well is it's going to be considered a meal replacement. Instead of having a shake, like, you know, sometimes you get tired of shakes. I'll be honest. Um, you can go ahead and switch it out for this drink right here. Switch it out with some coffee. So because the protein coffee has 15 grams of protein and the Formula One itself has 9 grams, it still equals out to the 24 grams of protein. And then, of course, the Formula One has all the extra vitamins and minerals. So now we're going to add one cup of ice and blend it for about 25 seconds. All right. Now, while that is blending, I do want to let y'all guys know who are club owners. This is an amazing drink to have added on to your menu for fall season because a lot of other coffee shops, I'm not going to name them, do have a, you know, this type of drink on the menu. It's full of unnecessary sugars, carbs, fats. If you pull up an online menu and look at the nutritional information, most of them have over 50 grams of sugar. And that's just unnecessary, you know? We don't need all that sugar in our life. So this only having two grams of sugar just helps your body feel so much better. So um, I just finished adding caramel and icing the cup. I do use a sugar-free caramel. I use the Smucker's brand. And then now we're going to pour the concoction on top of the ice. Now you are going to leave a little bit of room on top, so do not fill your cup up all the way. So here we are. Now I'm gonna show you guys with the remaining space on the top of the cup, how to make a healthier cold foam. Now, this is gonna have a vanilla caramel flavor, so you are gonna need to purchase um, a vanilla caramel creamer, a sugar-free, dairy-free creamer, preferably. So you're gonna add a little bit to your cup, and then you are going to need a frother for this, right? So we're going to add however much you desire into the cup. Now we're going to add a half a scoop of the pumpkin spice formula one into that same cup. And then we are also going to add a pinch of brown sugar. I do use the stevia based brown sugar compared to just regular brown sugar. And then now we're going to go ahead and froth it all up. And as you're frothing it, it will get thick to where it is like cold foam and froth it for maybe about 10 to 15 seconds however long you feel like how and basically just on your desired thickness of the cold foam now we are going to go ahead and pour it on top and here we go nice and foamy with a little bit of pumpkin flavor to it yum so yeah, this is our pumpkin cream cold brew with homemade cold foam. And then I did top it with some additional brown sugar. Well, thank you for watching, guys. Have a great one.